See this old rusted out ball peen hammer sitting here not doing nothing for no one? Let's make something cool out of it. So, first thing I did obviously was cut the handle off, throw it in the scrap hickory pile. I'll use it for making wedges or something later. What I'm going to make is a tomahawk or a camp hawk, so I'm going to upset this to kind of make a hammer face because that's more useful than a spike in my opinion. And then we'll flatten this out and make the blade out of it. So it's going to be a pretty quick, pretty simple project, so stick with me. So, first thing I'm going to do is just start flattening out this hammer portion to a blade. You want to hit kind of lightly at first when you're using these old ball peen hammers because you really don't know what they're made of. And sometimes they can be a lower quality cast steel and they might shatter or crack or something like that. So, you light hits to make sure it's going to stay together. I don't see any cracks or anything, so we'll go at it a little harder. So, second heat, still just trying to break it down. I'm uh, going for length and width, so I'm just going at it with the rounder, not worrying about using a bottom fuller or the horn of the anvil or anything like that. So, moving right along, forging out this blade, it's slow going because this is a pretty big chunk of steel. All I'm going to do is start my taper back here towards the base where I need to work it the most and then slowly work my way out towards the edge to get a nice smooth taper. So, as you're drawing this thing down, of course, it's going to fish mouth on you, you can kind of see. So, every few heats, just upend it, upset that back in on itself. Kind of working against what you're trying to do, but it's got to be done. So, another option if you feel confident enough to do it and if uh, your forge is capable of it, when your stock gets down thin enough, you can actually forge weld that fish mouth closed and stop having to worry about it. And I'm about tired of fighting with it, so that's what I'm going to try to do. starting to look like something but it's still significantly thicker than I want it so I'm just gonna keep working it slow going because with so much surface area in contact with the anvil you lose heat pretty quick so I've got my thickness just about where I want it so all I'm gonna do now is just rest it on the anvil and gently dress up the profile as well as hammer in some stout edge bevels that I can follow on the grinder to make the hammer into this thing I'm just gonna put it in the vise start upsetting back here. And then once I've got it upset enough into the way, I'll just take it to the face of the anvil and square it up. Make it look pretty. So, next thing we got to do is drift the eye of this thing to shape. I can already tell this is going to take quite a few heats because the drift has a long way to go. And the thin middle of those cheeks is going to lose heat quick. And if you work it too cold, you're just cracking it. See what I mean? We just got a few blows and we're already losing heat to the point where it wouldn't be wise to continue. So, like I said, slow go and drifting this eye because it was so small to start with. So I'm just setting my drift in, getting as many hits as I can before I get too cold. Right about there like that. I'll just flip it over here, knock the drift out. This swage block is really nice to have. But I'm just switching sides as I go, slowly opening up that eye. It was so small to start with that it's taken quite a while, but we're getting there. So we're just about done forging this thing. Last step you want to take is go ahead and chuck this thing up in your vise. Stick your drift in there. See it just a little bit. Now look down and see, pretend the drift is the handle and kind of look and see where it's sitting. Now it needs to come that way, just ever so slightly. Uh, a little more. A little more. There we go. So, here we are to the forge. Got a nice eye in there. All I've got to do now is smooth out this cutting edge, strike in the bevels, and clean up the profile just a little bit. There's maybe five minutes of work here, so I've already got the forge going for heat treat. But I've got a 36 grip belt on here. We'll get that done, and we'll uh, quench and temper this.
So, here's the axe all done. Got it on a nice charred hickory handle. Nice black oxide finish on the head. Edge is good and sharp. I did a little bit of chopping with it just to make sure that my temper was dead on and everything, and it seems to have stayed good and sharp. Kind of made it with like a camp hawk or a trail hawk or something like that in mind. It's kind of cool. So I actually meant to make this video quite a while ago, but, you know, life gets in the way and such. Like I've said before, this is just a hobby. I do have a day job, which takes priority over this. I originally meant to make this hawk for a 500 subscriber giveaway. Thing is, now the channel is actually over 500 subscribers. It's growing quicker than I thought it would, which is great. Please continue like, sharing, commenting, all that jazz. Keep the channel active. Keep it growing. But anyway... Because we're over 500, we're just going to run the giveaway till we get to 600. We're still going to call it the 500 subscriber giveaway because I just think that sounds better. And I plan on doing another one at 1,000 and, you know, I'm a sucker for uniformity. But anyway, same rules as last time. If you want to win the Tomahawk, just be subscribed to the channel. I'll comment on the video. As soon as we reach 600 subscribers, giveaway is over. And uh, I'll take everybody who commented, assign them a number, put them in a random number generator. Whoever wins... I'll put a link to my email in the description of the drawing video. Send me an email and I'll send you a shipping quote or a PayPal invoice with the shipping amount. And also, if you're somewhere overseas, UK, Australia, anything like that, I know you guys got some crazy knife laws or anything like that, make sure this thing's actually legal. Like I stated last time, last thing I want is Homeland Security showing up at my door for trying to send a weapon overseas. So, there you go. Like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, share this video with your friends. Faster we get to 600, faster our winner will be picked. So if you want to win this thing, keep the channel active. And again, thank you all for watching. Uh, I was honestly surprised when the channel reached 100 subscribers, and now we're pushing 600. So that's, that's pretty awesome. And uh, I'm just going to see how far I can take this. So thanks again for watching.